Can machines really think? For decades, we've been told that human-like artificial intelligence is around the corner. I confidently expect that within 10 or 15 years, we will find emerging from the laboratories something not too far from the robot of science fiction fame. Univac, the giant electronic brain. I'm doing the talking. That's the most remarkable thing I've ever seen. We're still waiting. But scientists are making progress. Today, thinking machines can respond socially to human movement and emotion. No, you're not to do that. No. They can communicate in many of the ways that people do. Come on, give it. Assist in medical care. From mood elevating robots that respond to human touch to systems that aid in diagnosis. Have you been feeling tired lately? Yes. Can you bring your child to see the doctor? They can play soccer. Kind of. Collaborate with us in the workplace. Would you like me to check his calendar to see if he has any free time later today? Yes. On Earth and in space. More on Jeopardy. Two human champions going brain to brain with a supercomputer named Watson. And recently, this language savvy machine captured the world's attention. This person is appointed by a testator to carry out the directions and requests in his will. Watson. What is executor? Right. Same category 1600. Watson. Who is Franz Liszt? Watson. Who is the church lady? Watson. What is narcolepsy? You are right. I would have thought that technology like this was years away, but it's here now. I have the bruised ego to prove it. We've come from this to this. How will artificial intelligence impact our lives in the future? 